everybody. I decided to go up Highway 38 today instead of go back up the way that we came down. So you guys are gonna get to see the main routes driving up and down to Big Bear Lake and Big Bear Valley. Um, these are the three main routes. Yesterday was Highway 18 on the backside. Today was Highway 18 and 330 on the front. And now we're taking Highway 38. This is my favorite drive, and this is the one that I suggest for the people driving up the front. This is the safest route on the front side because it still maintains a high speed limit, but you don't have as many cliffs to fall off, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, but still, the very safest way is going around the mountain range to Highway 18 on the back, but that's just not, I don't know, it's just uh, not not going to be a reality for most people because it's a long drive to get to the other side but for the people who are really scared it's worth it and we are entering look here here's the sign San Bernardino National Forest highway 38 guys and highway 38 is Lagonia in Redlands so when you're driving through Redlands and Mentone if you're on Lagonia that's highway 38 It'll turn into Highway 38 here. side of Big Bear. So you enter over by Irwin Lake and, and Lake Williams and whatnot. And then you hit Big Bear City first and then you hit Big Bear Lake. So Big Bear Lake is the furthest point on this road if you're trying to get to Big Bear Lake. And this part gets some serious fires too. But look at how beautiful this is. Look at, look at that peak right there. There's a town up here um, oh my gosh, what is it called? Something Village. Why am I spacing the name of it? It feels like you're in the Alps when you're in, in this town because of these really steep mountains right here. They're, they're on both sides of you when you're in that little valley. I don't know why I'm forgetting the name of the, of the town up there. That's, that's pretty sad. But this town that we're going to be coming up to up here in about, I don't know, 10 miles or maybe a little bit less. Um, we don't drive through the town. We drive, we don't enter. We kind of loop back around and start our main climb um, once we get near that town. But why am I forgetting what it's called? straight ahead with the snow covered on them. It just looks amazing. It just doesn't feel like the same mountain range. 
over there. Forest Falls, that's the name of the town, Forest Falls. It's incredible, you guys. Unfortunately, it's not near any of the ski resorts, nothing. But it's, it's in a valley with those sheer cliffs which go up thousands and thousands of feet. And it's just remarkable, it's so beautiful. It really feels like a completely different mountain range in a different country. I wish we had time to cruise through. I just took, took my car into Subaru to have something under the warranty looked at. And it was actually really quick. I was surprised, usually they take forever there. Subaru of San Bernardino. Gosh, what a gorgeous day, guys. Not a cloud anywhere to be seen. You can see where all this was burned not too long ago. On the right-hand side and the left-hand side. Wow. Gosh, I haven't been down here in a long time. This was all this was all on fire, I think maybe two seasons ago. And to the right, there's a big wash right here. So when we get our major thunderstorms over here, this whole area to the right, where you see all the rocks, I don't know, maybe a hundred yards past all this burnt stuff, that becomes a raging river. And sadly, there have been a few deaths back in there because people go out there and then they get caught in the flash floods. Man, look at how much I get all this stuff burned. Right there, man, they are so pretty. That feels like a real mountain range right there. Just really rugged, jagged peaks. Wow, we got up to Forest Falls, or to where we would be turning to go to Forest Falls pretty quickly. So if you turn right here, you'd be going to Forest Falls, which is that town I was talking about that's in this valley with these steep, steep mountains right there. It's unbelievable. And I think that's that's where you go to, uh, to hike up San Gorgonio, which once again is the highest peak in Southern California at 11,499 feet. And this is the big climb right here. This takes you up to Angeles Oaks. And from that point, it's, it's a very small incline the rest of the way nothing too noticeable but then once you get uh, past Angeles Oaks and through all of those other areas then you start another pretty steep climb ascent Sorry about that, but we might have another chance to see that 
there aren't really many incredibly awesome views on this road in terms of looking down the mountain. That's about it right there. We drive deep into the, uh, the mountain range. This part of the mountain range is, is, is quite a bit wider than the other part where we came down. So once again, it feels like more of a mountain range, but this drive is not, I mean, it's just unnecessarily long because if they just made, made a road that goes straight into Big Bear from here, it wouldn't take you nearly as long because we have to drive all the way around Big Bear to get up to Big Bear. That's okay. See you guys, I'm not getting upset. <laughs> Be prepared to stop. Now I'm upset. They're just doing stuff to protect us, which is nice. It looks like there's a bunch of rock slides up there. Hey man. All right, I'm gonna turn it off for a minute, guys. Okay, here we go. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. And guys, look, I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. I'm not being a jerk. We're forced to right now. <laughs> Seriously, as, as frustrated as I get that they do all this work during the daytime, these guys keep us safe and keep our lives going. they catch a lot of these rock slides before they happen and there's so much steel netting up here that helps us uh, stay safe I feel like we're in England right now such a great service though when I first moved up here you guys I would drive down the mountain every single day just to drive up and down the mountain because it made me feel so good it was just pure happiness for me Especially at nighttime, it was just so awesome. But then when I started my my business, it became impossible to leave. And by the end of the days, I was so tired. I just couldn't drive anymore. But I'm telling you guys, I've driven these roads for my first two years up here, probably equivalent of every other day coming up and down the mountain. And most of the times I was driving down one side of the mountain range and back up the other side. Even more gnarly than, than coming down what I just did today, Highway 330 and Highway 18 to this Highway 38 going up. So it's, I'm telling you man, it's, it's a very peaceful journey. And driving through beautiful mother nature like this is just awesome. Next town we're coming into is Angeles Oaks. Be prepared to stop again. Sweet. Gotta love that. 5,800 feet elevation here in Angeles Oaks, and we are stopped again. All right, I'm gonna shut it off for a little bit, folks. All right, we're starting to go now. And my phone is overheating already. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I just cannot believe it. I have the air conditioning blocked. 
blasting now. Hopefully it'll keep us uh, from overheating on the phone. So we are technically in Angeles Oaks, but we'll be coming up to the to the main part of the town really quick here. Once you get up to Angeles Oaks is when you start seeing snow over here, but we're not seeing anything yet. So probably just past Angeles Oaks we'll start seeing some snow. As I said, it's a really long drive. If they had a road that would cut straight across this whole area over here and just go across the valley, you could get into Big Bear right away. But we have to drive all the way around. And here we are in the main part of Angeles Oaks. Speed limit's 35 through here, guys. It's imperative that you drive 35 through here. At least when there's no traffic. They give out tickets here like crazy. it is up here there's this these signs right here on the right hand side that you'll see in a moment that say secluded cabins so for those of you who just want to be up up and there's a little bit of snow right here right as we pass as you can see there's a little bit of snow on the side of the road and this is typically the checkpoint when we have snowstorms on this side of the mountain where they stop you there's chp always right here and caltrans and they're making sure you have your tire chains with you so it kind of sucks because you'll drive all this way up the mountain and then they'll turn you around if you don't have your, your, your chains with you and over there those mountains that's where big bear is on the other side of those mountains uh let's see here once we get a good view well there's a bunch of trees blocking the view but i'll show you in a second Big Bear's just on the other side of these mountains, just across this valley, but we have to drive all the way around. Those mountains, that's, that's where Big Bear is. Just on the other side of those mountains. So pretty in here, man. So yeah, straight ahead. If we had a road that went straight ahead, that mountain right there, we'd be at the top of Snow Summit and stuff like that. But we got another 45 minutes at least to go, depending on traffic. Once again, you guys, it's such a gorgeous drive. It's worth it, big time. Some snow right there. So we're getting into the snowy areas, even though it's hardly any snow right now, but as you can see, we're starting to touch on a little bit of snow. 
this road's in terrific shape right now too. So we do have some good news. One of you guys on this channel, a friend on this channel named uh, Morning Wood, <laughs> I love his username. Um, he gave us some very detailed information about how it looks like quite a pattern shift for February and March. And I know that's a long way to look ahead, but um, yeah, it looked very promising for February and March, you guys. So hopefully we get a bunch of weather that time of year in these next couple of months. They are technically the wettest months of the year in Big Bear, so hopefully it pans out. As I've told you guys before, since I've lived here for almost eight years, the wettest month has been January. Every every time we've gotten our, our biggest storms is January, and actually there was one Thanksgiving storm in November that dumped a ton of snow. But yeah, Big Bear's on the other side of those mountains right there. sixth grade schools in Southern California do this. There's like a, a one week for an astronom astronomy camp or something like that up here, up off of Highway 38 up here. And I'll tell you that week was so much fun. It was the first time I was away from my mom for that long. So it was a bit scary, but it was so much fun. Can't remember what what it was called, but I do know that most of the schools in, in Southern California do come up here for something like that. And the temperature plummeted. It's already 52 degrees. Camp Cedar Falls. careful of the rock slides here too, you guys. That's kind of a, a give and take with coming up to these mountains. You take away the beauty, but you gotta give some risk when it comes to driving up. Knock on wood, I'm very fortunate I've never... Well, actually, one time I did hit a big rock in the middle of Highway 38, which ripped right through my transmission uh, pan uh, when I had when I was driving my, my Saturn. That was horrible. I didn't have any AAA at the time and a friend of mine was nice enough to let me use his. And I had to get towed all the way back to Big Bear because as soon as it ripped open my transmission fluid pan, I didn't have, I would hit the gas and nothing happened. So I was stuck. It was brutal. Coming up to where that officer, that rogue LAPD officer, Christopher Dornan, had his final hurrah.
smells so good up here, you guys. My goodness. It smells like pine and mountain. They clear off the windshield a little bit here. A little bit here. A little bit there. A little bit everywhere. And you'll notice there aren't any passing lanes for the longest time up here. It's not like we're going to be passing anybody. But for you guys wondering, yeah, there are not any passing lanes until you get halfway up here. And then there will be three passing lanes, um, or three chances to pass before you get up to Onyx Summit. Actually, Onyx Summit is the third passing area. And then you don't have anything else until you get into the Big Bear City area. This mountain road makes you feel like you're in a real mountain range because it's such a long drive. That's what that bridge says right there. So this is a Boy Scout area right here. So this is where Christopher Dornan, if you make a left here, went into a house and caught the house on fire and ended up dying. Over there. That was crazy. I didn't live up here yet. I was two years away from living up here. At the time, I was actually staying at a brother of mine's house in Redlands. So I could see the fire all the smoke from from down down the mountain it was it was nuts it was nuts i think that was in 2013 side of, of these roads completely brown. Usually it's completely inundated with snow over here. But yeah, to the left and, and to the right up here, there's a ton of campgrounds. And it's a big flat area. It's really nice.
Veterans Camp right there. so they probably aren't really focusing much on the signs, they're probably focusing on the road, which is good. But if there's pull-out spots everywhere on this road, um, yeah. We're not gonna be doing any passing. But this is a long road to have people not thinking about the other drivers behind them. We're going at a pretty good pace right now. The speed limit's 55, we're going about 55 right now. And we're coming up to the first of three passing lanes in just a moment here. Right here is where there's a police academy type thing off of this road right here. Whenever they have their major training and stuff like that, there are signs all over here 
Police Academy. So we're 
way above Big Bear right now, you guys. We're just about as high up as you would be at the top of our ski resorts. And we keep on climbing. I have a friend who lives here on Rainbow Lane. He's a gypsy.
miles an hour, you guys. So we're we're we're, we're making good time.
take a phone call. So right where we made the right turn right there, it doesn't look like I made a right turn on the video, probably looks like I went straight, but I made a right turn. We are on Maple. And as I said, once we get back into town, we'll shut off the video, but I just want you guys to see how long it takes to get into town. This is a shortcut. Not necessarily much of a shortcut, and there's the high school, home of the Bears. Very creative name. I mean, go figure, Big Bear Bears. It's not much of a shortcut, it's just a different view and we get to look at the other side of the valley driving down Maple, which is what we were just on. I really admire and love the beauty up here, you guys. It means a lot to me. This place and you guys have saved me. here is 40 but then right through this little tiny area it, it goes down to 30 a lot of people do not notice that that just for a split second it goes down to 30 and then back up to 35 um, just be very careful driving through here you guys as I've told you guys numerous times this town makes a lot of money off of ticketing people and sadly off of DUIs I wish people wouldn't drink and drive up here, or anywhere for that matter. You guys are way too valuable to have anything happen to you like that. But I'll tell you what, this town makes a fortune off of stuff like that. Um, it's sad. I haven't had a drink since I've lived in Big Bear, and alcohol is my thing, or was my thing. Big Bear smoking vape. Guys, this is my friend's shop again. I'm telling you guys, if you guys tell him that I referred you, he'll probably take care of you. If not, he'll charge you double. <laughs> if, if, if you mention me, he'll charge you double. He's a really good guy. I tell you guys this all the time. He doesn't give me anything or any money or anything like that to talk about his business. I do it and I've offered him to do that because he's such a good guy. When you move into a new town, it's very important for people to treat you right. And he really made me feel comfortable up here when I first moved up here. And it's, it's meant a lot to me. And so I will always go out of my way for him, for sure. His name is Sahil, S-A-H-I-L. I think some people call him Sam. <clears throat> but they've been up here for a long time. And he has a second store, you guys, in Big Bear Lake. It's their new store. That new store, could probably use a little more business because it's still kind of well it's still really new that store right there that we just passed gets a lot of business but he deserves it he doesn't overcharge people he doesn't price gouge people the guy's got amazing prices on everything they have and as i always tell you guys it's not just a vape and a smoke shop they have other little trinkets there and stuff too and he's he's, he's just a wonderful guy his daughter is just the most adorable little kid ever <laughs> Amina she is so cute but yeah just wonderful nice people very kind very big-hearted and I will always go out of my way for people like that always 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 this Broadway cafe you guys is known as one of the best burgers in town But my favorite restaurant, especially because I like sweets, is Cafe Crepe. 
And it's another place where the owners are super cool. Super, super cool. And they make the best crepes, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's her family's recipe from France. She moved here from France maybe, I don't know, 10 years ago or something. city of Big Bear Lake. I'll shut it off right here. And once we get through here, I'll turn off the video. Okie dokie. So once we get through this little part, once the road starts curving to the left, that's when you get the unbelievably beautiful view of Snow Summit. I can't wait. I love this view. It makes you feel like, ah. here we go. Oh man, that is so awesome. That is so beautiful. And then Bear Mountain is straight ahead, a little bit to the left of 12 o'clock. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at how beautiful Snow Summit is. All right, I think we're gonna shut it off now. This is where the grocery stores are. Here's Vaughn's, here's Stater Brothers. You guys take care. Thank you guys for cruising with me again. As I said, we're not gonna have any more videos for a while until we get more weather. Um, I have no reason to go down the mountain, so I appreciate it. Thanks guys. Take care y'all.